Let's turn to Acts chapter 13 as you stand. Jesus is still desiring to reach out to everyone irrespective of who they are, their background, and what in life they are going through. Chapter 13 of the book of Acts, this is the history of the church, and in verse 22, And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king. <clears throat> to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. Then, Gospel of John, chapter 15, in verse 11. <clears throat> These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This thing, Jesus said, have I spoken unto you. My joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. So my message to you is a heart with a desire for God. A heart with a desire for God. Thank you. The Bible teaches us that God does grant the desires of our heart when they have been shaped by a true relationship with Jesus Christ, our Savior. We all have desires, but before that desires that God wants to grant you, you need to realize that the Word of God tells us as much as God wants to grant you the desires of your heart, you also need to know that God wants to shape the desires of your heart first. Amen. And that is you and I today. What are you living for? Ask yourself that question. You know, just two days back, people celebrate Diwali. Here in Malaysia, they call it Deepavali, but they don't call it Deepavali. In India, they call it Diwali. So, it's a time of celebration, joy, firework all over. <laughs> you wait until Chap Gome come, Chinese New Year, worse. <laughs> people are happy. And so, the Bible tells us that what are people seeking? You know, what are they seeking? In Psalms 37, the whole chapter of Psalms 37, it tells us about delighting in the Lord and having the joy. Every one of us, we want joy. That's why Diwali, people joy, joyful, Diwali. You know? Joy can be a result of two sources. Do you know that? You want joy? Anyone here want joy? Uh, we sing the song, I've got joy like a river. Joy like a river. So, but I want you to know that if you have desire for joy, and Jesus promised you and I, he will give you the joy. It will remain. Your joy will be full. And in fact, Jesus said, your joy will overflow. That's why the song says, joy like a river, overflow. Okay? And so, joy is a result in your life of two things. Two things. So, I want to show you, some people get the wrong joy. But the Bible tells us to get the right joy. 
because it's a result. So the joy can come to you in an event. What's an event? Event means tomorrow is Diwali, public holiday. Hey, happy! No school, no work. Joy, isn't it? You're so happy tomorrow is public holiday. Yeah. But don't go out station traffic jam. Malacca, two hours is going to double four hours. Yeah. And so, because of this event, uh, you have joy. Some people, you go to work for what? Not because you like to go to work. You go to work because at the end of the month, you get 2,000 ringgit or 5,000 ringgit salary. So, end of the month, in your bank, suddenly, I got 2,000. Joy. You got salary. Anyone here, when you receive your salary, you are joyful? Or you receive your salary? <laughs> Maybe some people like that because not enough. It should be 3,000 now, 2,000. <laughs> ah. So I don't know. Maybe the joy suddenly turned to sadness because not enough. And some people, suddenly the boss say, Okay, Chinese New Year or Christmas. Increment. What a joy. There you go. Joy. How much? 50 ringgit. <laughs> what is 50 ringgit? Enough for McDonald's. Why the boss say 500 ringgit? Oh, very happy. Oh, you 500 ringgit. Ah, joyful. Ang pao, huh? Ang pao, huh? Diwali go ang pao, na. No, I think God la blue color one. They created it. Haraya is green color. Chinese here, red color. So you follow. Christmas, next time we make gold color or silver color, okay? You go print down power. <laughs> gold or silver. So you see, joy comes from event. Huh? Ah, some of you, ah, next year, new car. You can afford to go, huh? Work it out. Every month pay 500 ringgit installment for nine years of your life. <laughs> so you get a new car. Proton. Alza. Huh? Or Asia. Or whatever. So joy. So you go receive the, the car with the ribbon. So happy. The whole family go take picture, selfie. After one month, joy gone already. The joy no more. It doesn't last. Huh? So, this event in your life, from promotion, from every day, some kind of thing will happen to you. Huh? You are happy. The joy. But Jesus promised you, if you are in Him, it's a very deep relationship. Because you are having a belonging to your creator. That's the everlasting joy. Yeah. End of this month, Kenneth will be very happy. And Janice, joy! We are getting married. But after married, huh? Huh? you know lah. Huh? Then, the commitment. Why nobody tell me, huh? I must do housework. When I'm bachelor, I don't need to do housework. So the joy only lasts for temporary. Okay? Because I'm speaking to people who have been married for many years. Your kids and grown up. You look at your wife. You look at your husband. Why no joy? Eh? What, what happened? What happened to the lovey derby, the joy? In fact, it's a blessing you didn't argue and fight. It's really a blessing. Ah. So, you know, events, things in your life, it's temporary joy. Sorry, I'm not trying to discourage them. Get all the joy you can <laughs> in the marriage. Praise God. So, event is short life. This joy in your life on this earth is short. Short life, like a fuse. That's it. But when you have the right kind of joy with your eternal God, 
Because God is eternal. God is not temporal. Huh? God is everlasting. And so God wants you to connect with something that is eternal, that is everlasting. It will not stop. It's like a river. Huh? So there are Christians that exist. Christian, listen. Serve God based on the event type of joy. The event stuff. Something that will make you happy. Christmas. Oh, Christmas celebration. So they keep looking for God to give them something, to fix the something so that they can continue to serve God happily. Huh. Please do not fall into this category of believers. Serving God so there will be events. Afterward, huh? We got ladies, function and all. Food provided. Oh, yo, yo. Happy. Take the plate, put, put. Ah, oh, yo, yo, yo. And then can chit chat, relax. Ah, all those are events that make you happy for a while. But here the Bible tells us that the real joy can only be found when you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus promised, I will give you the real joy. It will remain. So God wants your joy to be in Him. Not in events, not in things that happen in your life. Uh, having a new house, new car, new clothing, new this, new that. Forget that. It's temporary. Yeah. You know, some of us, we hope to go on holiday, huh? Never fly in the aeroplane. Oh, I will be flying to Turkey. Turkey is 18 hours. Air Asia to Thailand, one hour, you no know, fun. Get up the plane, have the Nasalama. Okay, time to get off. So fast, huh? ah. But 18 hours, wow. You sit there, you watch the program, you play the game, oh. Chit chat, some more they bring you food, some more whatever you want. Oh, are happy, yeah. 18 hours. So you go to Turkey and then they'll take you to see what the blue mall, the Topica, the street car, the Bosphorus Bridge, and then you go there and then you eat the fish with the bread. Why Pastor tell you I have been there? Lah. So when you come back, yeah. so at that time the joy is there. After that, you come back, back nothing. And then you are, you are clamoring, huh? like some of you here, I'm speaking to some ladies here. When are we going on holiday again? Huh? You, you are looking for the joy, huh? the holiday. But as a Christian, I want to redirect you to something there will be a constant joy. You will experience that even with or without all these events. You don't serve God for events. You serve God for connection. You have joy. Good times, bad times, you're still happy. Ah, God don't want you to be like a weather. Today, lightning and thunder and storm. Stay away from me. You know, rainy season, everybody stay away. The sunshine, blue sky, everything nice. The birds chirping. Chee, 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 chee. Ah, today, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, there are some people, people stay away because they look at the hey, lightning, thunder, dark clouds. But someone happy, like pastor, lah, are you there to come? No problem. Never base your joy on events and you will be always seeking some kind of experience to keep yourself on top of the joy. You know, before I come to the Lord, I do that. And so, uh, many of you, when you come to Jesus, that's why the people in the world like that, they are constantly seeking some happiness in their life. And so they do all kinds of things. They put on TikTok, they put on Facebook, they want the whole world to know, I'm happy. But they don't know after that, they're upset. And then you got to find another time to go TikTok again, I'm happy. And then after that, TikTok never put on, I'm sad. And then here we go again. So, so it's a roller coaster life. But Christian, 
you and I, the truth is in Jesus. Jesus wants you to know the joy. Psalms 37. Turn to Psalms 37 in verse 1. Huh? Psalms 37 in verse 1. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they will soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. And so shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shall be fed. Delight, you see, delight yourself also in the Lord. He will give thee the desire of your heart. Commit your ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him. He shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth thy righteousness as a light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. For him, fret not yourself because of him who prosper in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked device to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. You see, all along, Psalms 37 tells us, God wants you to look to him. Don't be troubled. Don't be discouraged. Don't get uh, depressed like this lady because she don't know Jesus. She took her life and she took her children's life. Tragic. These are people living in the world, got no nothing to hang on. I guess she was disappointed with the husband. The reality comes that this guy is irresponsible and put her into a lot of, you can say, hard living. So the only way she ends her life and her children once and for all. For the whole world to see what a tragic event. I'm sure when, before she had the two kids, she got married. It's joy. It's a joyful occasion. All the friends, the relative, oh, yeah, getting married. But after the marriage comes, the kids, everyone run away. She found it did not last, the joy, the happiness. I'm sure she had joy and happiness the beginning of her life. But after that, it's gone. And so she end her life. The word of God tells you and I today, don't try to live your life for such things. Temporal. But live your life for God. It's eternal. And only Him will satisfy your soul. You desire. You desire for many things. And God knows. Because that's what we are created for. We desire happiness. Nothing wrong with desire to be happy, to be joyful. Getting married is one of it. Having children is another one. Huh? Going for holidays is another one. Buying something new is another one. Every one of us, we love new things. Yeah. I remember when I buy huh, a new pair of shoes. Today, I don't even look at it. I just get out, wear it, and just go. But beginning when I buy a new pair of shoes, I smell it. And after smelling it, the leather, leather, leather. Today, I dare not smell it. It's too smelly. See? Joy. Yeah. You buy your handbag, huh? Uh, ladies, I like to pick on the ladies. You buy your kochi kochi. Gucci gucci. And you buy your... Oh, you, so many compartments. After one year, you throw all the rubbish inside your comb, everything, your tissue paper, everything. You don't even look at it and zip it. You don't even know. Hey, so many compartments, you don't even care. After the Gucci Gucci and the Kochi Kochi, you look for LV LV. 
LV, LV. Hear me, hear me. Hear me, hear me. You see, from one name, you jump to another. So it's temporary. It doesn't last. So you might as well take the word of God and get with it. And it's good every day of your life, something makes you happy, but temporary. Look for something eternal. When you get up in the morning, Jesus said, my joy will remain in you. You will satisfy you. What can satisfy your life? The joy of the Lord, my strength. Gives you strength to live another day, not to jump off Niagara Fall. Not to go, you know, one teacher here, the student jump off your floor. Student, depressed, too much work, not happy. She cannot take it anymore, she jump off. In school, you know, your floor, she jumped. She died. Young, 17 years old girl took her life. You see, now you know, we have so much to offer the world. And the Bible, another song say what? This joy I have, the world cannot take it away. You got to take that joy and give it to someone. Yeah. When my wife was flying in the aeroplane to China, there was this Mongolian lady. She got only one little girl. The husband is back. She was not happy. So when my wife started to reach out to her, she doesn't know. And then later she said, uh, you are so wise. Where did you get all this knowledge? My wife was ministering to her. She cried. In the aeroplane, no. This Mongolian lady. She cried. She's doing a PhD here in Malaysia. She said, I got so much pain. So My husband don't understand me. I have a little girl back in Mongolia. I, I'm going back there and I don't know. Please counsel me. In the aeroplane. You see, when you are sensitive to the Spirit of God, there are people before, like this lady, if someone near, you know, the Niagara area, reach out to her. She won't jump off. Someone should have made a quick reach out. And so this lady on the plane, my wife was talking, she cried. And my wife showed the love of God. Tell her everything. And then she said, when I come back after my holiday next month, this is next month, I want to call you. Spend some time with me. You are doing the work of the ministry. You are like Jesus. You go around in life not seeking for the joy, but you are, your joy is overflowing. You are transferring to someone that don't have the joy and that you are telling them there is joy in Jesus. And the people want that. You got to learn that. Every one of you. Thank God for Yong Chi. He's getting baptized. Now, how did Yong Chi come to church? It's because of Ian. Ian go and talk to Yong Chi and say something more exciting. And Yong Chi is getting baptized today. You can make a difference. Everyone point, I can make a difference. No, you can't make a difference. Don't look down on yourself. You make a difference. Even the Samaritan woman was looking for joy, huh? getting married five times, and still not satisfied. And Jesus told her, you know, you are, you are, you are putting your life into the wrong joy. Too many husbands will not make you happy. So when Jesus told her that, she said, oh my God, you are the Messiah. You know everything about me. And what she did, she put the water pot, she ran back to the city, tell everyone about Jesus. What Jesus done for her. So today you have a lot to tell the whole world. What Jesus has done for you. You got to tell your friend, your neighbor, anyone when you are traveling, when you're going to the marketplace, you know, you got to tell them. When I tell people, they look at me, they say, why are your face uh, glowing? Uh? Uh, no, really. I'm not joking. They say, why are your face so glowing? Uh, so nice. One lady, somewhat too much. She said, I wish I have your face. Ayyye. She wants to tear my skin off. Uh. She, she asked me, what's the secret? <laughs> 
What's the secret? Why, why have that glow? I want that. And then after that, they call me, this one very dangerous. They call me Tai Lo, big brother. I say you can call me anywhere, but not in Hong Kong. Huh? They think I'm the gangster, the tri king. Uh, don't, uh, please don't call me that. You see, people are hungry. You have the joy, and you must give them the joy in the Lord. The secret of the joy is more than an emotion. It is more than a state of well-being. Jesus say what? It's abundant life. It's based on the fact that Jesus Christ died, buried, rose again. Not on fancy. Uh, yes, I told you about handbags and clothing or whatever. All these are fancy. Fancy stuff. Does not last. The fact that Jesus' love and his resurrection power in you and what he offer you, the world cannot give and the world cannot take it away. You must understand that. The world doesn't know this secret. In fact, Jesus said it is hid from them. The only way that they might even become aware of it is through you. You are the key. Cannot thought on Thursday, the key. You must have the right key. You get the wrong key, you will struggle. You will try to open that lock and it will not because you need to get the right key. Huh? You go back home, you try to go through your bunch of key and, you know, like me, my office, I try to use the key, you know, putus, stuck inside already. What I have is just a handle. And now, worst part, I, the door stuck already, cannot open, cannot close. So what do you do? You replace it. Yeah. Thank God, Brother Fell. You replace it. Praise God. You need Brother Fell. The secret of delighting in the Lord is found in who we are, not what we have. And we need to learn that. As God's people, you can be always joyful. Amen. I like the song this morning they, they were singing. The joy of the Lord. Amen. You can have the everlasting joy. And Jesus wants you to have that. So quit looking for events. Events are temporary. Afterward, you go makan, it's event, happy. Hey, you will laugh. You won't cry, you know. Afterward, you eat your curry and all that. <laughs> you won't do that. You'll be laughing. <laughs> Yeah, 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 sister. Oh, oh this is so good. Uh, you, uh, that's so good. Uh. Oh, wow. Oh, pastor brought watermelon. Sister Sherry brought watermelon. So sweet. Uh. Uh, you will be doing all that. Uh. Temporarily. Temporarily. Since our joy is founded in who we are, not just what we have, Romans 8.28 tells us, Joy unspeakable. <laughs> I like that. Romans, this is how Paul puts it. That it is joy unspeakable. Chapter 8, verse 28. Huh? It says here, We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to His purpose. For whom He did foreknow, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that you might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them, he called, he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, to whom he justified, them he glorified. Amen. So the Bible tells us that this joy that you have is based on the real relationship that cannot be destroyed, and also in your life, it does not fluctuate up and down in all circumstances. Amen. Next time you see your brothers, your sisters, some believers, their joy fluctuate up and down, then you need to tell them that Jesus promised the joy remain. 
you will be full. When you ask yourself these questions, are you happy with God when tough times hit you? Ah, if you say, well, I don't know. Or are you happy with God when He answers your prayer in a different way than, you, than you, what you have asked Him? Ah, you need to realize in the Bible, some of those fellows, they pray and God answers it differently. And then they were not happy. Jonah was one of them. Not happy. And God asked Elijah, why are you so unhappy hiding inside the cave? Well, you know, I didn't expect like that. Huh? So, your answer is going to help you. Don't fret. Psalms 37 say what? Fret not. Huh? Because of evil men. But you trust in the Lord that He is the source of all your happiness. Your desire in your heart is shaped by Jesus. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 tells us this. What? We all like the scripture. Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Huh? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. He says what? Take no thought for tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care for the things of itself. You see, don't keep looking for things in your life to get the happiness, to get that joy. Don't. Because God say, if you connect to Him, everything will be taken care of. Otherwise, what is faith? Huh? All the Hebrews chapter 11 believers, they look for what I have preached to you, the promise. God cannot lie, the promise. But today, one thing in life that really God wants to reach out is to make you happy. Yes. God don't want to see you crying. In fact, when Jesus, in his ministry, there was this widow lady, only one son, you know, can you imagine? Die already. The funeral was in the procession and it was blocking Jesus' way and Jesus fell for this woman. Widow lady, only one son. Her joy suddenly taken away. The one son that is going to look after her, she's a widow and she's not young, you know. And she, her high expectation all on this son. And Jesus stopped the funeral. Can you imagine? Jesus, I mean, funeral going on. Jesus, hold, hold, hold. What's happening here? Come, come. And the lady say, my only son died. My joy taken away. Now I'm crying. Jesus raised the child, the young man, back alive. Turn sorrow into joy. Can you imagine this widow lady suddenly in all her sorrow, her pain and her hopelessness, the son suddenly come back to life. She get double joy. <laughs> when the son was alive, it was joy. But after the son died and Jesus brought the son alive, Double joy. She got more to shout about. So today, you and I, our sorrow, God wants to turn it to joy. Let's all stand. Amen. Jesus wants to shape your life, what you are going through. Amen. And give you the desire. But then you need to have the desire to worship God. Amen. And that in Jesus, the Bible say, those desires are godly and we can ask confidently because we have them. Jesus, whatsoever you ask, I will do it. Sometimes we think of the temporal things. Whatsoever, oh, 
God, I want a house. God, I want a, God, I want a good job. God, I want this one. Those are temporal, remember. It's good. It's not that you don't ask, you ask. But ask, God, I want to win souls. I want to be used by you. I want to touch someone they have lost so much in life. You need to ask God for that. Amen. Wherever you are, always say, God, I want to touch someone with your joy. The world is in pain. The world is in, you can say, hopelessness. Everyone is fearful today, yeah. Fearful of the economy going down. Fearful of the job losing out. Fearful of this, fearful of that. Fearful of war. You are the light of the world. You can give light and hope to those who are hopeless in their life. If it's your first time here, you need to say, Jesus, I will give you my life. I thought in the Filipino uh, uh, study today morning, I heard this story, and it's a real story about a missionary who went, who was in America, went to the Indian reservation. Great Indian, you know. And it's trying to tell all those great Indian, Jesus wants you, not anything in your life. In fact, he will bless you with all those things that you want, make you happy, make you, you know, have joy. So when he gives the altar call, the great Indian chief say, you know, I have this, this bear skin that I, my price I hunt and it keep me warm during winter. So he say, well, maybe I have to commit to Jesus. So he came out and took out the bear skin and give it to the altar to Jesus. And again, the missionary tell Jesus really wants you, you know, everything. So he felt, mm, Samo, well, I have this bow and arrow I used to hunt. It's my survival, my livelihood. Okay, I will give it to Jesus. So he came, put his bow and his arrow and went back. And again, the missionary kept telling, you know, Jesus won. Not your bow and arrow, not your... You say, oh, maybe my pride. I'm wearing all this feather. It's my ego, my prayer. I get all this feather is because of the victory that I won. So he took out his feather, you know, headdress and give it to Jesus. Someone, the missionary, keep telling, you know, you must come. Say, what more? I got give everything ready except myself. Oh, then it dawned on him. I think I have to give myself so he came out and gave himself to Jesus. You see, Jesus, the one all that, the one your head, your bow and arrow, your cloak, Jesus wants you. You have to come say, Jesus, I offer myself to you. So we want to invite you. You offer yourself to Jesus? Yes. Jesus don't want your job. In fact, Jesus will give you a better job. <laughs> Jesus don't want your car or your anything, your material thing. He wants you. Get born again of water and of the Spirit. And you will have everlasting joy. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Amen. Let's realize God wants you today. You can give your life to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come, let's reach out to the Lord. We want to invite you to come, give of yourself to Jesus and say, Jesus, as much as I want joy in my life, I don't want to keep seeking. It's not out in the world, but it's in you. I will come and give my life to you. Lord.